A popular stretch of beaches in Massachusetts will remain closed to swimming today because of a deadly weekend shark attack. 26-year-old Arthur Medici died Saturday after being bitten by a shark. It was the first deadly shark attack in Massachusetts in more than 80 years. The attack happened on a stretch of the Cape Cod National Seashore. Visitors are being told to stay out of the water. Nikki Batiste is in Wellfleet, Massachusetts, near the scene of the attack. Nikki, good morning. Good morning. On Saturday around noon, Arthur Medici and his friend were riding waves on their boogie boards about 30 yards out into this water right off this Cape Cod shore. That's when one witness says he saw what looked like a 10 to 12 foot shark attack Medici. The woman was just going like this, waving to us and I ran up. More than a dozen beachgoers on Cape Cod Saturday scrambled to help carry Arthur Medici to safety after he was bitten on both legs by a shark. So I sprinted back up the beach, screaming like a lunatic, call 911, there's been a shark attack. I have a report of an unknown shark bite. Medici was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Isaac Rochal was in the water near Medici when the attack happened. He says he and the victim were like brothers. He was screaming and then uh, I saw like a shark tail and I swam to him fast as I could in that moment. I dragged him back to the shore and I got a boogie board strap and I tied it around his thigh to try to stop the bleeding. Saturday's shark attack is at least the second on Cape Cod this summer. In August, 61-year-old Bill Litton survived after being bitten by a shark. After two attacks, I think we can... Be concerned that it's a, a dangerous situation. We see these sharks every day along this coastline. They are there in big numbers, and, uh, and people have to be vigilant and be aware of it. Greg Skomal is a marine biologist for the state of Massachusetts. He believes the shark likely mistook Medici for a seal, which are often close to shore along Cape Cod's beaches. And as a result, these sharks are coming as close as they possibly can without risking their own lives to try to kill and eat these seals. And, and that creates a bit of a problem because that's exactly where people are utilizing the shoreline. And so, you know, this is something we're looking at. It's something we're trying to advise swimmers about so that this does not happen again. The National Park Service is warning people on Cape Cod to not swim with the seals. And we've seen a few seals just a few yards offshore here this morning. And while shark attacks are rare, last year one study says there were 53 unprovoked shark attacks in the U.S. That's more than any other country in the world. John? Nikki, thanks.